Matatag Curriculum Math 2, Quarter 1, Week 1, Day 1. Learning Objectives. At the end of the lesson, the learners are able to represent and describe a circle and identify real-life objects that represent a circle. Activating Prior Knowledge. Look around the classroom. Find and name objects that have a rectangle, a square, and a triangle. Describe a rectangle, a square, and a triangle. A rectangle has four sides and four square corners. A square has four sides of equal lengths and four square corners. A triangle has three sides and three corners. What is side and a corner? A side is a line segment that connects two consecutive corners of a two-dimensional shape. It is a boundary of the shape. A corner is a point where two sides meet. Who can point at the corners and sides of each shape? Lesson purpose intention. It is to describe a circle and identify circles in their surroundings. Lesson language, circle, round, corners, sides. Developing understanding of key idea. What is the shape of the clock? Trace the outline of the clock on the board. What do you notice about the shape drawn on the board? It is round. Does the shape have sides? No, it does not have sides. How do you know? It does not have a line segment as its boundary. Does the shape have corners? No, it does not have corners. How do you know? Clearly, since the shape has no sides, then it does not have a pointed part where two sides meet. We call a round shape with no sides and corners a circle. Go around the classroom and look for objects with the shape of a circle. Have some learners with objects having different sizes of circles trace the outline of their objects on the board. Class, can you tell me what you see on the board? We see circles of different sizes. Each shape has no sides and corners. What is a circle? A circle is a round shape with no sides and corners. For your evaluating learning assessment one, which of these shapes are circles? Put a check mark on the shape.
very good. Thank you. I hope you learned something new today.